Today we're riding the 2024 Harley-Davidson Street Glide, which truly surprised me. And I'm going to share some details you might not know, so grab a pen and paper and let's do work. Hi Brian, welcome again to Harley-Davidson of Danbury in Connecticut. Just want to show you this 2024 Street Glide. It's got the uh, white pearl paint with black trim. It's got the one-touch saddlebags, easy to open. All the latest features, the newly styled sheet metal, the latest chassis upgrades, the Brembo brakes. We've got the reflex-linked anti-lock brakes front and rear. We've got traction control with hill assist on this motorcycle. And the new 2024, Brian, has a 12.3-inch infotainment. One little button on the handlebar, we can change the ride mode. I tend to like them in sport mode because I like to get every bit of horsepower out of the bike. A big thank you to all those who watch my full videos and who like and comment early after I post, which helps with the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to more viewers. I appreciate you. Don't forget to find the hidden code word in this video for a shout out in my next video. That said, let's throw a leg over this beautiful street glide. All my life I've ridden sport bikes and most of my bikes have been Italian and mostly Ducati. When I finally rode a Harley-Davidson Lowrider ST per my last review, it opened my eyes to the fun of bigger cruisers and baggers and I immediately became addicted to the big boldness and smooth ride quality. Well, then I rode the Street Glide and it scratched that itch that I never knew I had perfectly. It had a little more power, torque, and for me more comfort and now I want a Street Glide. Anyway, the 2024 Street Glide is a big, bad, and beautiful bike that is packed with upgrades that make it a standout in the heart lineup. The 2024 Street Glide features a 117 cubic inch 1917 cc Milwaukee 8 V-twin engine delivering 105 horsepower and more importantly 130 pound-feet of torque. This is a significant upgrade from the previous 114 engine, providing more power and smoothness. On the road, this engine feels both powerful and refined, the throttle response is immediate, and the bike handles beautifully even at higher speeds. The Milwaukee 8 engine is known for its smooth power delivery and reduced vibrations thanks to its counterbalancers. What is that you say? Counterbalancers are mechanical devices that counteract the engine's vibrations by using weights that move in the opposite direction to the engine's moving parts, resulting in a smoother and more comfortable ride, thus making the street glide glide. Glide. A crack of the throttle will throw you back on this motorcycle as the 130 pound-feet of torque does what it does, and even on an 811 pound bike. And that's quite fun to do, literally every moment I'm riding this bike, really testing that 44 miles per gallon rating. 44 MPG? <laughs> Not on my watch. And with a lean angle of 32 degrees, I was able to navigate corners in a planted fashion and although I kept looking down to see how close my pegs were to the ground, that was on me, not the bike. I didn't know a big bagger like this could corner and I was happy I didn't scrape a peg even once. I'm still getting used to these big bikes and I was surprised by its cornering capability. One thing that caught me off guard a few times was the low RPM limiter at 6,000 RPM. I'm used to my Ducati Diavo screaming up to just under 11,000 RPM and I didn't know there were actually good reasons for the lower RPM limit on the Harleys. Why is it only 6k you say? Because these engines are not optimized for high RPM, but rather for loads of torque at low RPMs true to their philosophy of a comfortable and enjoyable cruise rather than high speed performance. And trust me, they deliver. Peak torque comes at only 3250 RPM, making for a lot of low speed fun while sounding deep and throaty like a Harley should. The lower rev range means reliable torque is available anywhere at any time and that equals fun. Just don't forget to upshift. Next, let's talk about the design. The 2024 Street Glide has undergone a major facelift. The iconic Batwing fairing has been redesigned for a sleeker profile, and the new LED headlights and daytime running strips give it a more modern look. The Road Glides have the shark nose fairing, and I actually like them both. But what's the difference? The Batwing fairing is fork mounted, so it moves with the handlebars and has that classic Harley look. And because it moves with the handlebars, it can make the bike feel more responsive at lower speeds. But because the force of the wind is translated to the handlebars, it can be a bit more fatiguing at higher 
higher speeds for longer rides. On the other hand, the Shark Nose is frame mounted and therefore does not move with the handlebars. It has a more modern look and because it doesn't move with the handlebars thereby making you feel the wind, it is less fatiguing for longer trips. So they both have their pros and cons depending on your riding style. The chrome rimmed round lighting of the past is gone, replaced by the sharp modern lines. The reshaped tank and new luggage design also contribute to its updated aesthetic. The bike is available in billiard gray and a bunch of other nice colors you see here, but if you want vivid black, it's an extra 600 bucks, or if you want other colors such as Whiskey Fire, prepare to shell out an additional $850. Also, if you like your bike dark and foreboding like I do, prepare to pay an additional $1,350 for the blacked out version. So that's $2,000 to get it all black, but it is oh so beautiful if you do. Harley has also stepped up their game with technology. There are four preset riding modes, Rain, Road, Sport, and Custom, the latter of which allows you to create your own settings. As expected, Road Mode has a softer throttle response, decreased power, and more traction in ABS intervention. Sport Mode gives you the full power and so on. I rode mostly in sport mode, but I did try out road mode and both were great. Good storage space here, fits my big leather jacket. I know I'm being naughty riding with my t-shirt on, but it is like over 80 degrees here in New York right now and I'm dying. Taking this thing off was worse than taking off a leather racing suit. It was literally stuck to my body. So I'm going to go extra slow for those of you in the comments who are going to call me out for being a bad boy. Road would be better for high traffic situations such as this one I was riding in here. I found the bike very easy and smooth to start and stop and easy to control at under 10 miles per hour, no problems. Then once traffic gets moving, pop it back into sport for maximum fun, which you can do while you are riding. There's no need to stop or even take your hand off the throttle to change modes. The 2024 Street Glide features a massive 12.3 inch TFT touchscreen display. Despite all the high-end bikes that I've owned, I've never actually had one that has a touchscreen and I've always wanted one. This replaces the old mix of analog dials and digital info panels, offering a more intuitive and interactive experience. And I must say it looks good in person and functions well. Everything you need to see is right before you and you can customize options to your liking. From navigation with real-time traffic updates to a high quality stereo system, the optional Boombox GTS infotainment system is user-friendly and responsive with features like Bluetooth connectivity, voice recognition, and Apple CarPlay integration. However, it's worth noting that enhanced connectivity for Android phones is no longer available as the OS has pulled motorcycle support from the market. As someone who has gone on hundreds of mile trips on sport bikes, I can tell you comfort is key for long rides, and the Street Glide doesn't disappoint. The seat height is low at just 28.1 inches, making it accessible for riders of various heights, and as a taller than average rider, I was quite comfortable and I absolutely adore the floorboards for my feet instead of foot pegs. They were so comfortable and now I'm spoiled. Thanks a lot, Harley. Now I need another motorcycle. I found the new vent in the fairing with adjustable flap to be quite interesting. It's actually there to help reduce wind buffeting, ensuring a smoother ride. I was baffled by this, no pun intended, because I thought it was just to let the air through on hot days, but when I opened it, I immediately noticed the bike felt more stable and there was less wind on me. What's the science behind that, you ask? The fairing flap is an adjustable vent located within the Batwing fairing. When open, it allows air to flow through the fairing, which helps to equalize the pressure on both sides of the windshield. This reduces the turbulence and wind buffeting that riders experience, especially at higher speeds. Here's a practical example. Imagine riding at highway speeds without the flap. The wind hits the front of the bike and creates a high pressure zone in front of the windshield while a low pressure zone forms behind it. This pressure difference causes turbulent air to swirl around the rider which leads to buffeting. With the flap open, air flows through the fairing reducing the pressure difference and smoothing out the airflow around the rider. And let me tell you, it actually works. Despite its hefty weight of 811 pounds, this bike feels manageable thanks to its low center of gravity. The lower handlebars compared to the Road Glide make it easier to handle especially at lower speeds. The suspension has also been upgraded with Showa dual bending front forks and emulsion rear shocks, providing a plush ride over various road conditions. Safety is paramount, as you know, and the 2024 Street Glide is equipped with reflex linked Brembo brakes with ABS. Additionally, the bike features Harley's Reflex Defensive Rider System, or RDRS. These systems work in concert to enhance rider confidence and control, especially in challenging riding conditions. Exhaust. One of the standout features of the 2024 Street Glide is its iconic exhaust sound. Harley Davidson has always been known for its distinctive exhaust note, and the 2024 Street Glide continues this tradition with a deep and throaty rumble that is unmistakably Harley, yet neighborhood friendly. I personally would go with a Screaming Eagle exhaust upgrade, but that's just me. But I will say this bike does sound well above average for a stock exhaust right out of the box, so I think it will make many people happy. <laughs> If 
you made it this far into the video, thank you. I truly appreciate you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more candid motorcycle reviews and content. Ride safe, and always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary, and I will see you in the next one. You guys are special.